Hello there. So, a little bit of a sticky topic today. Making a complaint against a financial company. There are lots of financial companies who really don't give us good service or have missold us products. Missold us insurance, PPI insurance missold as a pension because they moved us from a, a low charges pension to a high charges pension. So, lots of complaints, but it's how do you make a complaint if you're not happy with the service or if you believe you've been, you've re, you know, you've been misadvised. So, just to explain the complaints procedure in general terms for a financial services product. So, First things first, have you got a complaint? Is there a valid complaint here? If you believe that you have a valid complaint, then you need to put that complaint in writing to the financial company. So put your complaint in writing. The company then, under regulator requirements, has five business days, why well, business days, but it's five business days for them to acknowledge your complaint. So once they acknowledge your complaint, they then have a period of time to investigate your complaint and they are required to investigate your complaint in an unbiased and in a reasonable manner. What normally happens in terms of timescales is normally they have round about four weeks that would be a target to, to investigate and deal with that complaint and issue you a response to your complaint. So issue you with their, their results, their findings and what their decision is. Sometimes it can drag on longer than four weeks if it's quite complex. And what they then may do at that four week period is issue you with an update letter to say, this is what we're doing, this is where we are. And then basically they have up to eight weeks to reply to you with a full decision on your complaint and whether they're upholding your complaint or whether they're rejecting your complaint or indeed make an offer if there's compensation involved. Even at that point where whether it's at the four week or eight week stage where you receive the final decision from the financial company, if you don't agree with that decision then you still have further rights and those rights are to go to the financial ombudsman service if it's, a if it's a regulated complaint, if it's a regulated product that you were missold or misadvised on. So you, as well as making your complaint to the company, if you're then not happy with that decision and you don't agree, you have the right to go to the financial ombudsman service. And within the response from the company that you've complained to, they are required to give you full details of how to complain to the financial ombudsman if you're not happy with the decision. And that process then moves on. If you're not happy, you then take your complaint to the financial ombudsman service. The financial ombudsman service is an independent body. Uh, it's actually paid for by the industry. So every month, every year, I pay levies, my firm pays levies to fund the financial ombudsman service to make sure that you as an individual you have access to an unbiased source where they will make an independent adjudication on your complaint and that's the way the complaints process works if you've gone to the ombudsman the ombudsman will then investigate your complaint where they'll ask for documentary evidence from you. They'll also ask for doc documentary evidence from the company that you complained to in the first place, and then they will make their ruling. Sometimes it can be fairly quick in terms of, you know, if the ombudsman thinks you have no complaint, there is no case to answer, then they'll decline your complaint. And so there are things like if you're just being frivolous and vexatious, or if there is no financial loss, or if you've just been a difficult client, and I'm sorry, sometimes, you know, 
you know, that does happen, then they may decline your claim. But likewise, if you are proved to be right, then the Ombudsman has the power to award financial compensation to you, which is actually legally binding on the company that you've complained to. So if the Ombudsman says you are due £10,000 compensation for being missold XYZ, then the company has a legal duty to comply with that and to settle. And as far as the Ombudsman are concerned, financial companies, we have no rights of appeal really against the Ombudsman's decision because it is an unbiased independent decision. Whereas if you're then not happy with an Ombudsman decision, let's say an Ombudsman declined your claim, then you still have the right to go to court if you wish to. But being honest, if, if you go to court, then a court is likely to look at, well, you've already had an independent decision from the Ombudsman and the Ombudsman ruled against you. So if an Ombudsman declines your claim, you can still go to court but it may prove quite difficult to get a court decision on your side. And clearly it could be very costly if you then lose that um, court approach as well. So very simply, in terms of how you make a complaint, and thankfully we, we, we don't get many complaints or anything like that. Um, and we've certainly touched wood, if I had wood, we haven't had to pay compensation out to a client or anything like that for, for mis so we try and do our jobs properly. But if you have a grievance, you make a complaint in writing to the company, the company will acknowledge within, within those five business days, five business working days, then basically either four weeks or up to eight weeks, you'll get a full and final decision from the company. If you're then not happy with that decision, you still have the right to go to the independent arbitration i.e. the Financial Ombudsman Service. So that's a little bit about how to make a financial services complaint. Thanks for watching.